Hi, welcome to my channel, Todd Hatta, and this video is all about my issues with the 2017 Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch uh, with the touch bar, and it's the top of the line, everything but if I just have a 512 SSD drive. It was about almost 2500 brand new. I thought it'd be a good computer to edit photos and video. This last March I was on a 45 day trip through Europe just trying to get some editing done when I had some downtime. I just couldn't do it. For one it just couldn't handle my Panasonic GH5 files. It would stutter. I just couldn't solve that stuttering problem. It works fine on my iMac at home but I have 32 gigs of RAM so I thought okay maybe it's the RAM. I'm gonna have to wait till there's a 15 inch with 32 gigs which just came out recently. After just searching hours and hours and hours online I finally discovered what's called proxy files. And the proxy file is about 25% of the bulk of a regular file. When you import you can select proxy files and it'll automatically create a proxy file. Or if you've already imported normally, you can go ahead and make a proxy file. So with the proxy files, these are much lighter and they'll play with no stuttering. We'll give this a try. This is a really good tip and it really saved me from buying a new computer. When you export, make sure to put it back to the optimized setting and then export. Otherwise you're going to export the proxy file which is no good. Another big issue I had was disk space. With 512 gigs on my SSD drive minus all the other files and you know applications I had maybe 450 gigs. My Final Cut files get to well over a terabyte with all the videos I'm importing and it just won't work so I have to edit with an external drive. So on my trip in March I had a 2 terabyte Seagate drive. I used a USB A to USB C adapter and just any movement would just disconnect the drive. One time it made me lose at least three hours of editing and it just disconnects, ruins your session. Final Cut is supposed to save as you go, but this time it didn't, and I lost a few hours of work, so that was very frustrating. I thought, why not just get a drive and Velcro it to the lid, and then get a USB-C to USB-3 cable, so there's no adapters, and it's just there, attached to the computer, you move around, it's not gonna shake loose. So I found this Owen Digital, 2 terabyte mini SSD drive and this thing is small, light, thin and it just goes on there. I could throw it in my bag with it attached and it's just great. I just came back from a trip to Europe for just over 30 days, tested out the Owen Digital Drive with Final Cut. I loaded everything onto that drive, all the video, all the photos, edited in Lightroom and it worked great. No disconnections. This combination of the Owen Digital SSD drive and using the proxy files, this combination really saved my MacBook Pro. If I didn't come up with these two solutions, I would have sold it, probably went to Windows, and had to buy Premiere. So give this a try. Owen Digital makes other SSD drives, not as small, but less pricey, so you can give those a try as well. So I hope you found these tips useful. Hopefully it will help you out with your editing and save you some money from upgrading to a new laptop before you really need to. Alright, thanks for watching.